Welcome back to School of Civil Engineering. This is Hedayatullah with another new video. As we have started a Tecla Structural Designer Tutorial Series and this is its lecture 4 and in a previous 3 lecture I have discussed about many basic tools and you, you are new to our channel then you can watch that the link are given in description and also in this video I will start from our previous model and so if you are new here you should see that and I mean uh, if you see that tutorial it will be very clear to you so in this video I'm going to show you and I will draw that uh, the beam uh, I mean column beam and slab also so first of all I will open our take life structural designer software so here I'll click that and here is our software and this is our previous model so if you new here you can watch that from our channel and also there have many civil engineering related video available also different types of estate pro software tutorial estate pro advanced found, uh, foundation software estate pro foundation software tutorial and also there are many video available in this channel so uh, now we'll draw column so to draw column from uh, s3 5 we will start cause when we will use s3 5 to draw column you will it column will draw till the base story so just double click on s3 5 and see here it's here this so this is our um, s3 5 now so before we draw column beam slab we have to define our materials okay well, i mean we have to define our column section beam section and everything so how will defend that in this video i'm going to discuss about that so first of all and just here click here uh, draw columns so to draw column just click here and after that see here the here is the properties of columns so first of all is the history level okay if we increase that little bit so this is the history level so from this is a most important things here suppose this is the top level okay so from which level to which level you want to draw the column and this is the base level okay so what is your base level will be i mean from which level to which level you want to draw your column you have to select from here so I will select from um, S3 5 to base level, okay? As uh, our column will be from S3 5 to base level. After that, characteristics. From here, you have to select columns, okay? Then from here, materials type. What will be the materials type? What is the materials of our columns? It will be concrete. When we'll design concrete structure, then we'll use, uh, I mean, steel structure, then we'll use steel. So use concrete after that have the fabrication what is the fabrication means i mean which types of work we are creating precast i mean uh, is uh, we done our construction uh, column construction in previous and we'll cast here otherwise cast in place so cast in place after that go ahead rotation okay how do the rotation of your column i will see you it after some later so here what is the concrete types which types of concrete we are going to use it's normal okay after that grade of concrete here is the I mean, our, our uh, 28 days extent of concrete 28 days concrete extent so here if you see that here is a total concrete extent so suppose well, which grade concrete you want to use uh, we have created two two five zero and there have another two two Five zero and suppose I will use three thousand. Um, here three thousand psi great. I mean three ksi great concrete. Then after that, here is the important thing. Section. Okay. What is the section here? So what will be our con uh, column section? Okay. So how will use that column section? So to uh, if suppose you need to. Uh, give your column section 16 in 6 to 16 in it's okay otherwise you have to click a new or edit then just click a new or edit and here is a column okay 
so first of all click here here uh, click here uh, depth what will be the depth of your column suppose it will be 12 into 18 okay 12 feet into 18 feet so it's a uh, what will be the shape of our column shape circular l shape l section column t section c section then here uh, trapeze trapezium i section so here many section of column are available so we'll select randomly rectangular okay rectangle rectangular uh, columns then you can click here add so if you want to draw more and suppose here if you need more shape of column then give her the data okay so what is the from here you have to select the rectangle then what is the diameter what is the beneath depth and, ho and what is the minor offset and what is the major offset you have to give it here so we will not do it at this time so sorry we have to give here our uh, 12 and 18 12 and 18 inch column then press ok and again and just click here this is a 12 into 18 inch column so we'll use that column where and uh, first of all select that column and after that measure alignment what will the measure alignment it will be center here center top or bottom okay so what will be the measure alignment we'll use center then measure alignment offset okay so here is the measure or alignment offset you can uh, give the offset i mean what will be the distance from the center point of your column to uh, being joined okay so from here you can give her any data after that selection here's the revert type our revert type is 60 grade and also for a revert type in tie it's also for 60 grade okay so here also they have design control release and has the cylinder nest ratio stiffness drift check that anything is available so it's done for first column so where we want to where we want to give that column we have to just select there suppose if we give the column here just click here and see it this column have been placed here okay now the another thing that column direction this is the depth and this is the width direction okay and this is the length and this is the width direction but uh, suppose I need to change that column direction I will give that column in that direction so how will do that so suppose uh, here I have used that column but in that column I want to use here in that direction and how will do that so for that So then uh, we have to just come here in rotation here is a rotation and then from here we have to select a rotation here uh, 0 degree 90 degree 180 degree minus 90 degree angle or uh, you can give them definite angle here and define so I, I will just uh, give here suppose 90 degree and just go here and select it just see that the difference of them this is in that direction this is in that direction so in that way we can draw our columns okay so in different direction so suppose I will use in that direction column for in button and also for button I'm just uh, randomly doing that if when we'll draw our real project then we'll go for the different work so after that I will select that 0 and I will select that one and I will select that one okay. it is done and after that we will give here another column so for that we will go here and create new then we will use 18 it to 18 inch column okay it, it will be rectangle uh, so after that press ok 
it's done and after that everything is done here and at, uh, say everything will be same as previous just for on column I will do something different I mean I will use something different things so here and here just uh, I have released that column uh, because I want to show you something here so uh, just see here its peak point is center to center distance okay on uh, the column are will meet in that center point but now suppose if you need to move that column little bit right or left so how will do that so for that here automatic alignment just you can click here it will select your automatic alignment okay so here's the major alignment offset and the minor alignment offset just then release here then a uh, major alignment here is the center okay here is center top or bottom what will be the major alignment so if we select top then what happen if we give here a column just see here okay so the column is down okay for major major alignment our uh, column is down when we have select top so we'll press ctrl z to remove that i mean to go back and from here i will select the bottom okay so then if i select here just see here our column is from center point to i mean our column is uh, in top from our center point okay so again ctrl z to back come back so from here suppose now we'll not give it a uh, top or bottom so just we'll give it just, uh, now we have seen that the major alignment for the minor alignment okay for minor alignment if we select left and right the what is the meaning of that if we select that it will be uh, left alignment I mean our uh, the top point I mean our uh, I mean our say uh, that selected point intersection point will be left so control Z again so in this way we are able to draw our columns now suppose uh, here is our 18 inch column and our column will be 5 inch away in right direction okay. so how will draw that so for that just here for minor alignment uh, where is a minor alignment here here is a minor alignment and we'll select center for minor alignment we'll select center and we'll give her suppose 4 inch okay so we'll give her the 4 inch distance then we'll just click here just see here if I show you there our column is 4 inch in left direction and uh, again control Z and suppose you want to give in right uh, left side then you have to give her just minus 4 inch then select anywhere and go here just see here in this way and for if you want to draw your column in top or bottom if I go Z back then here uh, if I go if I give it 0 and if I give here our alignment is 4 okay so what will be if we draw our column here just see that it's top now uh, the one thing suppose your column will be some this is uh, in y direction it's up and for x direction it's middle but we need to draw a column in both direction I mean eccentric column in biaxial column okay so how to will biaxial column so this is for inch and you'll also, also uh, I'll go control Z and here is for inch and if I go here for inch just see now what happened just see that our column is a biaxial so suppose in this in that in that point almost our, our center point of that column but our column is away from 4 in x direction and 4 in y direction so in that way you can draw your column according to requirement okay so we'll go ctrl z and we'll give her 0 and also we'll give her 0 then we'll draw our column so i think it's clear to you that how will draw a column and how will reshape or reposition that column according to our requirement 
so if we uh, see it in 3d now just see here just see here this is a column okay this is our column and here is the difference this this column is in that direction in that that column is in that direction so in this way we can draw columns and we can change our uh, direction and change our position so if you think that that's helpful for you subscribe to our channel and also like our video and also share our video and don't forget to leave a comment your own like and on comment inspires for the next work so thank you thank you very much in next video i'll show you that how we'll draw beam and also how we'll draw the eccentric beam and also how we'll draw the uh, curve beam for a building so still stay connected to next video